So in the first video, I forgot to talk about etiology and risk factors of pre labor rupture of membrane. Uh, should be uh, mentioned at first, okay? So forgive me, forgive me. And now I'm going to talk about etiology and risk factors of uh, pre labor rupture of membrane. The first one is lower genital tract infection, or infections in general are the most important predisposing factor to rupture of membrane, and it is also the most common complication, okay? Like what lower tract infection? Like bacterial vaginosis, for example, okay? Choreomyelitis also predisposed to premature rupture of membrane. STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. Smoking during pregnancy is an important risk factor for premature rupture of membrane or pre labor. I keep, okay? So polyhydraminous also. Multiple gestations. Polyhydraminous, short cervix, a prior premature rupture of membrane. So I can just uh, put them into categories. Infection category, the first ones, whether it is lower genital tract infection, chorionitis, or other STDs, okay? Uh, lifestyle things like smoking, okay? And the prior uh, premature rupture of membrane. And things about the anatomy like polyhydraminous um, multiple gestation, short cervix. Okay. Now let's move to the management of a pre labor rupture of membrane. I uh, put the management of pre labor rupture of membrane into five or four categories to make things easier. Preterm uh, mothers, okay, term, infection, and PV examination. If you have any uh, genital tract infection okay, or uh, intrauterine infection, and if you have done any PV examination, digital examination, you have to prompt deliver the baby promptly, okay? So immediate delivery is required in these two cases, infection or PV examination. Now let's move to term or, and preterm. In preterm cases, the management uh, below 37 and some box below 34, okay? So, uh, below 37 or below 34, okay? According to the source, you can back, get back and see, okay? W what are the lines of treatment? The first thing is expected management until we reach, the, uh, the, we reach term or we have complication like in fiction for example okay so expectant management what do we mean by expectant management we have to observe the patient to give broad spectrum IV antibiotic prophylaxis okay to give a steroid to maturate the lung because we may uh, need to uh, deliver the baby uh, unexpectedly uh, okay suddenly and because uh, oligohydraminous uh, lead to decrease in surfactant uh, maturity and lung maturity, as we said, we, uh, it may lead to lung hypoplasia. Okay, so expected management, give broad spectrum IV antibiotic, steroids. About the tocolytics, you know that usually with the steroids we give tocolytics. In the case of premature rupture of membrane, depends on the gestational age. Gestational age is below 28, we mostly don't give uh, tocolytics, okay. Some experts uh, do give, okay. Uh, a tocolytic by itself is questionable now uh, to be given or not in the cases of premature rupture of frame. Some uh, experts say uh, that it is not that useful. Some experts say it is uh, even harmful. So it is questionable. So I want you to focus on IV antibiotics, on steroids, expectant management, and a group B streptococcus prophylaxis. Okay, you have to give group B streptococcus prophylaxis. By the way, in all these uh, conditions, preterm, term, infection, PV examination, you have to, grieb, uh, to give a group B streptococcus prophylaxis. Okay, you have to stop sexual intercourse, not to, to, to prevent introducing infection by the sexual intercourse because it is a risk factor for infection. Okay, you have to observe signs of infection in the mother if she was treated as an outpatient you have to tell her what to expect you may have fever you may have a greenish discharge then please just come over the hospital 
as soon as possible if you have any of these. By the way, when we give IV antibiotic, one of the uh, targets of uh, giving IV antibiotic is to increase increase latency. What is uh, latency? It is the period between the pre-labor rupture of membrane and delivery. Okay, and we aim to increase this period in the cases of prematurity, okay, or preterm. We aim to increase this period to maturate the lung. So the latency period has uh, or depend on depends on gestational age on amniotic fluid amount if we have less amniotic fluid then latency period will be shorter okay so you have to expect a, a faster uh, uh, prompting of delivery what about gestational age it inversely uh, have inverse relationship with gestational age what that means it means that if the gestational age was uh, more then the latency period is less okay so a patient with 34 gestational age may uh, deliver within 24 90% uh, of them will deliver within uh, uh, 24 hours okay while a patient with 24 weeks for example 90% uh, of them will deliver uh, within week okay and some of them will stay two and three weeks okay so you have uh, this inverse relationship with gestational age okay so this is the treatment or the management of uh, preterm premature observation what if we have term a rupture of membrane especially if we have contractions and we have to deliver the patient immediately okay so if we have in contraction we have to deliver patient okay most of cases will go to delivery if we are in term spontaneously in 24 hours 90 percent of patient will go spontaneously to deliver so you have to wait 24 hours okay 12 to 24 hours if no uh, signs of starting of delivery or labor then you have to augment labor you have to augment labor by the way difference between augmentation and induction of labor is that in augmentation of labor we have already ruptured membrane in induction of labor we have unruptured membrane we we induce labor by rupture membrane or other methods of induction as we all know okay so in term we have to wait for about 24 hours because most patients will go spontaneous in delivery about in 24 hours some books say that you can wait 48 hours okay after that you have to augment delivery if the patient did not start with that by herself so this is all about pre-labor rupture of membrane. We talked about definitions, uh, pre-term and term rupture of membrane. Talked about complications, etiology, okay, background, the history, physical examination, investigations like nitrazine test, ferrin test, ultrasound, genital tract swab, fetal well-being and maternal well-being, and the management term, pre-term infection, PV examination. Each one of them have its own approach. We talked about the amniotic fluid the functions of amniotic fluid, the sources of amniotic fluid, okay, and the factors that determine latency period. This is all. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.